The custom game browser is now live within the MCC. In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know about the custom game browser. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So it's Thursday, everybody, and as planned, the custom game browser has been released into the retail version of the MCC. This isn't a flight or anything that you can just load into your regular MCC and start playing. There is a patch you need to download, by the way, for Steam and Xbox. It's a bit of a few megabytes on the Windows platform. It's actually 12 gigabytes for some odd reason I need to be that large. So in this video, I might go into everything about the custom game browser, how it works, what are your options and what you can do with it and how easy is it and how, how do the lobbies function? Well, in this video, I want to cover all of that. So if you like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. If you've missed any content from me recently or want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here okay so when you boot up into the mcc right here what you need to do to get to the custom game browser you click on multiplayer and then you'll see custom game browser right there underneath custom multiplayer so pretty much would make sense right there and then you have an option to browse which you can search for lobbies or you can create your lobby we can just click on browse right here because it's pretty straightforward where you load in you can sort by uh, session name game type you can sort by maps you can sort by players you can sort by ping as well which is super useful there's also a nice little refresh button down here so if you want to kind of jump in browse again i think this refreshes about every like 30 seconds or a minute or something like that but currently doesn't seem to be any ability to do any kind of browsing or any kind of specific searching say if i want to search for a session that said like blood gulch or hemorrhage or something like that it doesn't seem to be an option right now but remember this is a test run as well this is going to be running from thursday until monday 10 a.m pacific standard time so that's when you can get a chance to jump in and it'll take it offline do some reassessments about how well it functions and take community feedback as well i'm pretty sure a search function will be really appreciated because you, i'm just searching by sorting my players right here from most to least and there's a lot of 16 player lobbies right here already that obviously it's a brand new feature and you know people were gonna be jumping in playing however they like but uh it definitely would be nice if i could just like search like in the session name saying a specific game type or game mode or map even or something like that if we back out the next option we saw was create this is where you can actually get an idea of where your creation options will be right here right now it's only for halo reach for the custom game browser as they want to start small and then upscale it as they get to the custom game browser functionality and options in a good place right here so we'll click on halo reach and then you can change your game session to let's call it thick boy game there we go <laughs> and then you can choose your minimum players you can choose your maximum players and you can choose what regions to be in obviously i'm gonna be kind of like i can just do all or i can do uh west us which is kind of where i'm located right now you can do repeat game which is basically we'll just kind of keep playing games over and over rather than taking you back to the lobby you can have the option to change teams so if the change of only leader can change players you have the pre-game only lobby changing right there or you can have changing during the game as well there doesn't seem to be much of a setting when it comes to privacy like though that would be kind of more for just like people who want to play with their friends but then again you can just jump into a custom game right so i feel like this kind of public privacy kind of setting would only be beneficial to streamers but that would be really nice for me as a streamer as well by the way link in the description down below to my twitch we do stream every tuesday and thursday and with the addition of the custom game browser we'll definitely will be doing a lot more custom game lobby nights as this just makes the whole process so much easier of just joining lobbies because before you had to add people as friends and then sometimes a friend invite didn't get in and all that mess you don't have to deal with that custom game browser it's awesome okay so let's create our first variant that we get to play for our server that we get to play on right here so uh keep in mind with the maps that you're selecting you can only select one game mode and they gotta make sure that the maps that you select are available for those game modes as well uh so just keep that in mind when you're selecting your map so say you want to set up a team slayer lobby right uh, so we can do probably we just like that, you know, countdown, powerhouse, uh, zealot, and um, we can also do how about uh, condemned as well. Uh, I like I like having battle canyon, and also we can do some forge world creations as well. On top of that, uh, I'll just do like asylum because I love that map. But you can also have your own custom maps as well for an option. Hit continue, then this is where you select your one game mode that you can have for that one variant. So I want to do team slayer. 
I'll do Team Slayer TU. Uh, also, you can select whatever kind of game variant you've created as well within Forge setups or something like that, or your own playlist setup. So you can also select whatever you would like. Hit continue. We can call it uh, this game rocks uh, variant. Sure, there you go. And now you have your variant. You can see all the maps I have selected right here, as well as the game mode. You cannot have multiple game modes. It's one game mode per variant up to six maps for that variant so we can select another one right here um let's do like a a fun forge world kind of thing so i know i do have jump rope selected right here so you can hit continue and then we'll go to wherever jump rope is under it's under infection let's select on jump rope continue and call this the uh, jump rope right there hit continue and there you go now you have that as a variation as well now we can just select Great match, starting up dedicated server. Please wait while we get your game sessions going right here, which is awesome. And there we go. We boot right into this lobby right here. We're in a little bit of a pre-game lobby, it looks like right now. Here we go, we're at the pre-game lobby section right here. So I think this is pretty much where you'll be kind of just hanging out and chilling, just kind of doing your thing until you actually get the uh, proper amount of people that you have selected for your lobby right now, which is actually kind of a good, good thing as well. So then people aren't just like waiting in a lobby the whole time, just staring at a menu. You can actually jump into the game and just kind of mess around, practice around a bit and stuff like that. And I'm sure once you hit your minimum player count, then the lobby will actually start. So my suggestion, if you want people to jump into your server to play around, uh, definitely want to select a single kind of variant that people are going to be looking for. When I'm jumping into a browser situation, I want to find a specific kind of game mode or experience that I want to do. So if you're saying if you're doing like only this map, make sure you only have that map selected with only, you know, select a select few game modes or something like that. If you're looking to do like some custom game kind of social kind of stuff like zombies or something like that, make sure you only have that selected. Just so then when you're searching in the browser, people know exactly what you're getting themselves into. Like here you have Open Raid, which I know Reach had a bunch of raids. I've never actually played one, so I might jump into that. I got NASCAR Pro. That sounds like a Duquesne 23 special right there. <laughs> Oh my god, we got a bunch of people just joining into my game right here. All right guys, I'm recording the video. You can see how you title it. We'll definitely determine about how many people can join into your game and stuff like that. Again, like, wish there was a search feature, but uh, right now it looks like you just kind of have to click through and browse. Just browsing might just work out just fine. Uh, eventually, as like the, the newness of the custom game browser kind of chills out a little bit. But you can see that like, there's just tons of people that have set up servers for you to jump in and play some Halo Reach right now. Like you have MLG, uh, sanctuary for Halo Reach. Like that sounds like a game mode I would want to play. So let's jump into a server here and see how it plays out. I mean, is it going to be super laggy? Is it going to be pretty fun? I don't know. Let's jump into something and see how it plays out. Then we have jump rope right here. Let's join into the lobby right here and see how it plays out. It has an 80 second millisecond ping, so it shouldn't be too bad right there when it comes to the lag or anything. But we're jumping into a jump rope lobby, no pun intended. Let's see how it plays out. And we're here, we're kind of just in the middle of a lobby. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then look, I'm already dead. Look at that. All right, time to jump into some of this stuff right here. All right, time to splatter some boys. Here we go. I don't think I've even touched the ground yet. There we go. Oh my gosh. I think I almost killed myself in the process doing that. <laughs> and uh, there we go. I did end up killing myself. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's grab a uh, wraith right here. See if we can pull off some nuttiness right here. Okay. Let's gently glide our way down right here. Try right, to see if we can get ourselves a splatter. Damn, these guys are flying. And there we go. Nothing. <laughs> but yeah, this seems to be playing like rather smooth. Like this is what I would hope the uh, custom game browser to play as. And it seems to do be doing just that, which is awesome. Like I'm not noticing any kind of lagginess or hitchiness or anything. Uh, this is just plain as I would love the custom game browser to play because this is something I've always wanted for Halo, dude. Like ever since like the 2004 days of playing freaking uh, Halo 2 zombies. God, I remember those memories. That uh, I would wish there was a way to search for custom lobbies and there's just never that possibility. But now we have it in the MCC. This is like a dream come true situation. Oh my God, look at those guys just flying in. Oh my God, here I go. <laughs> And see, this is like kind of stuff you don't get the chance to really play a whole lot when it comes to matchmaking within Halo, that you don't get to experience this fun side of things when it comes to Halo and how casual and how fun the Halo can just straight up be. 
This is going to be a great addition. I cannot wait to see what the community does with this. I'll be doing definitely doing a lot of game nights with this as well. So I hope to guys see you guys in the Twitch channel below. And say if I just wanted to leave the lobby as well, just click leave. And there you go. I'm out of the lobby, back to the main menu, ready to search for a new lobby. Like pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and it just freaking works, which is great. So if you guys like these news and informational videos when it comes to Halo, make sure you tap that like button. If you've missed any content from me recently or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.